Now some more interesting players now. This uh, fine young lady has completed that 50 mark when it comes to playing more than 51 internationals and more than 50 T20 internationals. And the wickets tally for both the formats is certainly ticking. So I've been very honoured to be joined by Masabata Klaas. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Hello, thank you very much. And how are you? I'm very well. So first of all, just tell me how does it feel to be here in Pakistan? To be honest with you, it's, very, it's, a, it's a very nice country. I'm enjoying it so far, even though it's hot, but then I'm adapting very well. <laughs> But then, yeah, so far I'm enjoying it and the food is nice also. Food so, is nice. Yes, well. <laughs> very, very. <laughs> well, that is certainly one aspect whenever you're traveling that you, you know, get to try so many kinds of food. Now, a fair bit of experience is on your side. You know, you've played a number of games. How does it feel to represent South Africa at the national level? I mean, growing up, how's that journey been for a young class to grow up and play for South Africa? First of all, I must say it's a very, very privilege and honor to be representing my country. And for me, the love of the game started at a young age, at the age of eight years. Yes, that's where I started to fall in love with the game. Mm. And funny enough, at home, no one plays cricket. <laughs> but then at my private school, I just decided, you know what, let me just give it a try. And then I fell in love with the sports. Who were you bowling to at that time? <laughs> Probably the <laughs> wall then. <laughs> yeah, back then I was bowling to the boys' cricket. So I started playing with the boys up until the age of 13. And mm -hmm. that's where I started to join the uh, girls' cricket at the age of 13. And then when you talk about making your first professional debut, what was that feeling like, you know, that nervousness? And <laughs> you know, as a young girl, uh, you used to write in your diary, like, mm. one day I want to represent my country. And when that time comes, you just be missed emotions. You want to cry, you're happy at the same time. But I know very well that you've been putting the hard work behind closed doors. Mm. So I remember quite well when I get my call up, I was with my mom that day. And I was like, mom, yeah, it is. It is my time now. Mm. So I just been called to the national team. So yeah, I was happy. It was a very moment to me and my and family. She must be so proud of she you. She is very, yeah. very proud. So when you consider that feeling of a mother, the association they've got with their children is always special. So uh, talk us through the South African team. Uh, you know, the amount of experience, youth, there's a mixture of this in the team as well. Some of the players have re just recently retired, but you had so many names to look up to when you talk about uh, Shabnam or you know talk about Laura and then you talk about Marizan you know Sune all of these players to yeah. look up to as well at the same time how's the environment and how's your journey been so far in the team you know so far being I'll call it the senior in the team mm. and having a lot of youngsters mm. it's, it's I must say the responsibility also on your shoulders to make sure that the young ones are following with the mm. right uh, steps but with the likes of Marizan Cup Ayawanga Kaka and a lot of players I think we we, we, we mingle well we, we're so positive and we, like I said, we have a youngsters in our team. Mm. So we've been working with them and then we know what to do. So um, it's, a, it's a very good environment, if I can put it that way. And it's becoming tougher and tougher by the day because there's so much amount of cricket and, mm. you know, it's evolving. Uh, as, as somebody who's a bowler yourself, you've got to think of a plan now because batters are trying everything they can. <laughs> yes, so yes. how's that experience of, you know, evolving yourself both physically, mentally and skill-wise as well? Being a pace bowler is quite challenging. <laughs> Because you're bowling a lot of overs in the heat, <laughs> but then luckily enough we have our conditioning trainer, so mm. he's keeping us very fit and we're managing the conditions very well. But as a bowler, you always have to have a plan. Mm. You always have, have to have a plan. It's either your plan A doesn't work, you still have plan B and C. Mm. So I'm that kind of a player who always have plans. If my plan A doesn't work, then I go to my plan B and C. So that's how I manage my game. Even if that plan means that, you know, once you beat the batter, go and give them a stare, you know. Then I go for it. <laughs> <laughs> because that's something you love about pace bowlers. Yes, I think yes. you enjoy that energy and adrenaline rush. Yes. So uh, when you talk about the structure of cricket in South Africa, and obviously you're in Pakistan right now, so Pakistan is a country that is growing and evolving in women's cricket. So how important is it to share that experience, uh, you know, Team South Africa, Team Pakistan, having a talk with each other, some of the Pakistani youngsters would look up to you as well. Yeah. So how's that experience so far? To be honest with you, it's, it's a quite nice experience to have like both countries getting along and mixture of the players. You know, when you're here, we're not just different countries, but we have like same love with mm. the, the game that we're playing. So the structures I'm seeing, even if we're not there yet, but then we're building towards it. Mm. So one day at a time, then up until we get there. So yeah. Definitely, that that is the case. In, uh, you know, talk us through the preparation as well because there is so much cricket happening. Uh, so, how's the preparation going on so far? Because this series is also important, and you've got so much cricket coming yes, up for Cricket yes. South Africa as well. 
So far, the preparation is coming right, right. And like I said to you, the weather, we had to adjust to the mm. weather, the conditions, but we're doing that very well. And we, we here are staying in the beautiful hotel. So <laughs> I must say thank you very much for that. But people are saying that, you know, in modern day cricket, they say that it's a batter's paradise right now because of the amount of runs that are being scored. Do you agree or do you want to tell them that no, the bowlers are still no, there? No, to no, boss no, no. the bowlers still was in there. Yeah. So, yeah. The bossing around as well. Yes. But, class, thank you very much for joining us. And, uh, you know, you've been in, an inspiration for so many young girls, not in South Africa, but around the world. And uh, we wish you all the best. But we would also like to request you to, you know, give that aggression to the batter. I'll definitely do that. Thank Thanks you very for much. having me. Thank you. Thank very you very much. much. More yeah. coming your way. Stay tuned.